Okay, so now we're going to talk about something that's fairly specific to pediatrics. It's called calculating the maximum allowable concentrations. Our children and infants have much smaller veins, much more easily irritated by intravenous medications that we give, so we need to dilute them more than they come readily packaged. So let's do an example of um, a medication you're going to use a lot in pediatrics, um, Unison. It's a combination ampicillin and sublactam. Sublactam just makes the ampicillin more effective. Unison comes in 1.5 gram or 2.5 gram um, vials. What this really is, is that it's one gram of ampicillin and a half a gram of this other amp uh, antibiotic called sublactam. This vial would have two grams of ampicillin and 0.5, sorry, 0.5 grams of sublactam. When we dilute unison, which we're going to do in our medication simulation lab, the final concentration when we mix up this medication is we have 250 milligrams of ampicillin in one milliliter of drug. Um, what we want to do is look up what is the safe maximum concentration that we can give this medication to our child. Our child um, is an infant and has a peripheral IV. It's important to know if your child has a peripheral IV or a central IV because some medications, there are listed different concentrations based on the route. If you have a central line, a Broviac, a Metaport, a deep peripherally inserted central catheter, a pick line, because that ends up at the junction of the um, superior vena cava or inferior vena cava and the right atrium, it's a much larger vessel, lots of turbulence, so you can give more concentrated medication because it's not going to injure the tissue of the veins. Most of our peripheral medications will all have listed the maximum allowed concentration. For unison, when you look it up in your med reference, and it will be listed also on your MAR, it will say must be further diluted to maximum concentration of 30 milligrams per milliliter. So we're going to have to take this concentrated drug and further dilute it. So let me show you an example. I'm going to teach you something that I learned from my pediatric clinical faculty 33, four years ago. And that is when we're calculating our medication, the easiest thing to do is what is my ordered dose, dose desired, over my dose that I have available, dose on hand, times the volume on hand. So let me say the physician has ordered 600 milligrams of ampicillin. Or if they order unison, they will, in parentheses, write the ampicillin equivalency. Ampicillin component. 
because we know Unison has both ampicillin and sublactin. So they are ordering the 600 milligrams of ampicillin, and we know that there is 250 milligrams of ampicillin in milliliter of that Unison. So what we want, our dose desired divided by what we have, we have 250 milligrams in one milliliter. Okay? So we take 600 and we divide it by 250. We need to draw up, this comes up to 2.4 milliliters of unison is what we're going to draw up. That gives us our ordered dose here. That's the first step. 